Welcome to Hope of Broly, a teaching ministry of Pastor Esau Banda, the senior pastor of Pentecost International Christian Center, PICC, the ministry chosen, ordained, and anointed by God to bring hope to the hopeless and life to the dying and help them become true disciples of Jesus Christ. Here is Pastor Esau Banda. God bless you as you listen. Father, we give you praise and glory. Great is your faithfulness. Awesome is your power. And excellent is your might. We thank you for this opportunity to speak forth your word unto your people. Thank you for the anointing of the Holy Spirit In the precious name of Jesus Christ Amen and amen. amen Welcome to the program We continue speaking on the subject of curses We said a curse is the opposite of a blessing The punishment for disobedience because a curse has its origin in disobedience. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. If you will hearken not unto the voice of the Lord your God. To observe to do all his commandments And his statutes which I command thee this day That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee So all curses have their roots in disobedience And we said a curse is a negative influence That propels your life in a wrong direction And the verse of scripture that we've just read Shows us that the curse will overtake and override it has the power to override good intentions. That is to say, a curse ministers frustration. So at the very center of every curse is frustration. And yesterday we looked at some of the causes of curses. At the very root of curses is disobedience. But there are some specific things you can look at that are going to trigger those curses in your life. I'm talking about some specific areas of disobedience. Number one, we talked about trusting in man and not in God. It says in Jeremiah 17 verses 5 to 6 says cursed is a man who trusteth in the arm of flesh So every time you put your faith in man you are bringing yourself under a curse God has never said we should put our trust in man. He wants us to put our trust in him. He says some put their trust in chariots and others in horses, but we put our trust in the Lord. And that is Psalm 20 and verse number 7 In Psalm 34 and verse number 5 The Bible says they looked unto him and they were radiant and their faces were not ashamed And it has to be so because they that put their trust in the Lord 
will never be put to shame. Zain lo kala choncho pa kuti iyo amena dali ya mulungu sadza jitsidwa manyazi. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse number 2. A Hebrew 12 verse ya gea Two, the Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. It doesn't say looking unto man or looking unto your business or looking unto your strength. It says looking unto Jesus. So friends, stop trusting in man. Put your trust in the Lord. So once again, trusting in man and not in God is one of the major causes of curses. And then we looked at robbing God in tithes and offerings as another trigger of curses. And that is Malachi chapter 3 verses 8 to 9. The Bible says you are under a cross the whole nation of you. So the whole nation of Israel came under a cross because they robbed God in tithes and in offerings. So if you're a child of God, you ought to understand that 10% of your increase belongs to God. And in Malachi chapter 3 and verse number 10, it says you must bring your whole tithes to the house of God. And it says as you do so The Lord will open the windows of heaven And release so much blessing upon you That you will not have a place enough for it Because you are under a curse And the third thing that we looked at yesterday Still talking about the causes of curses is dishonoring your parents. We gave you Ephesians chapter 6 verses 1 to 3. And we said there are two types of parents. Natural parents and spiritual parents. And you are called upon to honor both. If you are to enjoy the blessings of God in the earth Because there are so many people today that are languishing under curses and torment Because they have no respect for their parents And we gave you Proverbs 20 and verse number 20 Where the Bible says that he who curses his father or mother shall have his lamp put out in obscure darkness and so some of the frustrations you are going through right now are products of dishonoring your parents if your parents are still living have you built them a house what type of house are they living in are they living a comfortable life? I pity those people who turn their deaf ear, you know, to the cry and the problems that their parents are going through. You are living a comfortable life. And yet your parents are struggling. How can God bless you? So please make up your mind to make your parents comfortable if need be. And you are going to see the glory of God in your life. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Let's pick it up from there today. To look at cause number four of curses. And that is what I'm calling careless use of the tongue. In Proverbs 18 and verse number 21. The Bible says life and death are in the power of the tongue. 
And he who loves it shall eat of his fruits. So you need to know that the tongue has got fruits. Depending on how you use it. It can produce life or death. So there are so many people that are careless talkers. Every time you speak negatively about yourself, you are putting yourself under a curse. Every time you convince yourself and you say, I will never make it. You are simply putting yourself under a curse of failure and stagnation. In Proverbs chapter 6 and verse number 2. The Bible says by the words of your mouth you are snared. And by the words of your mouth you are taken. So many of you are snared today by your careless language. And if you want to enjoy life, you really have to censor what you say. Because what a man says is what he's going to see. Every time you confess negatively, the more negative experiences you are going to have in your life. The Bible speaks in Psalm 34, verses 11 to 14. It says, Come ye children, hearken unto me, and I will teach you the fear of the Lord. It says, What man is he that desireth life? And loveth many days that he may see good. He says, Keep thy tongue from evil. And thy lips from speaking guile. So it says if you desire life. And you want to see many days. And you want to enjoy goodness in this life. One of the things you have to do is to keep your tongue from evil. And that is to be careful in what you say. Because what you say is what you're going to see. What you say is what is going to be confirmed in your life. The Bible says that a man's belly shall be filled by the fruits of his mouth. That is the quality of your life shall be a function of the things you say. So you are either blessed or cursed by your tongue. The question is what have you been speaking? What have you been speaking concerning your life, your children, your family, your business, etc.? The Bible says, Bible by the words of your mouth, you will be acquitted or condemned. So you ought to be careful what you say about your life and your destiny in God. So the careless use of the tongue is one of the major triggers. Of curses. And another trick of curses is what I call illicit or unnatural sex. We are talking about adultery. Same sex marriages. Oh, we are talking about incest. And all manner of sexual perversions. 
And there are many that are practicing these things even in this country. Every time you indulge in a natural or illicit sex, you are simply heaping curses upon your life. That explains why some of you are languishing. But you can make up your mind And say God I will do things differently And God will honor your decision And he will change your situation In the mighty name of Jesus Christ Another trigger of curses Is injustice to the weak or helpless Injustice to the weak Now I'm looking at a whole range of things here I'm talking about abortion There are some that are involving themselves in habitual abortions Ill treatment of workers or paying your workers poorly. They work so much, but the money you give them is too little. And that is a type of oppression. Never take advantage of the weak or the helpless. If you are an employer, you must learn to pay your work as well. Because if you mistreat or you treat your workers, you are simply inviting curses upon your life And the Lord forbid because he has not made you for curses But if you invite them by your disobedience You have no choice in the matter so please seize every form of injustice in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I said in the mighty name of Jesus you also need to understand that words spoken by persons with relational authority over you can bring curses upon your life. For example, parents, pastors, or teachers. They can speak something upon your life that may trigger a curse. Some parents out of anger have told their children you will never make it. And if you don't deal with such a remark, you may find yourself languishing in stagnation and perpetual frustration. Again, words spoken by persons representing the devil or people like witches or wizards and witch doctors can speak words that can really work against your destiny. That is why some people are languishing under the weight of demonic enchantments. Wicked people, the agents of the devil have spoken things against some people and those things have come to pass and in their lives. But we are here to reverse every work of darkness in your life. Are you under a cross? Things are not working for you. You are suffering humiliation and embarrassment in your life. You are going, you are going through moments of barrenness. Mental and physical sicknesses. 
Malingalwano ngakale soto bilano Poverty and oppressions Mbawi ndi kupishinjidwa Failure and family breakdowns Ulepera ndi kupanyi kakobanja Defeat and all sorts of frustrations in your life Ulepera ndi kupanyi kakobanja Ulepera ndi kupanyi kakobanja Then you are the people God has sent us here for Ndi nuanta amene mulungu wati tuuma kutita ngule nana Because we are here to help you get out of those predicaments Fuati lipano kutandizane kutuluga mwuzo wa wazimenezo The Bible speaking in Psalm 30 and verse number 5 Bible ikula mkula kumasari mwa 30 verse like ya 5 Says weeping men do up for a night but joy comes in the morning Dikulida kukoso kala usiku hose kumajimumajita mawa So we want to pray with you right now reversing every curse in your life Ndiyo funa ni mbele na anu tawa noli ino kutembe na uza mbele ni lo se mwewanu Because God has ordained you for blessing you must get rid of anything that has been attracting curses in your life. Every practice that has brought you under curse, you must reverse it and renounce it in your life in the name of Jesus. Whether it is something to do with trusting in man and not in God. Or robbing God in tithes and offerings. Or dishonoring your parents. Or the careless use of the tongue. Or well, indeed whether it is involvement in illicit or unnatural sex You need to change and repent You need to forsake those things I say Lord I'm here I need you To change my situation I need you to help me out I need you to give me a second chance And the Lord is going to honor you for it And the Lord is going to stretch forth his hand And work a miracle in your life and I know your life will never be the same Because that is why Jesus died The Bible says he disarmed the powers and authorities And made a public spectacle of them Triumphing over them by the cross And the Bible says that he became a curse on our behalf That is to say he was cursed on our behalf That means there is no need for anybody to live under a curse anymore Because God wants you blessed and the blessing of the Lord will make you rich in all aspects of life And so we want to pray for you right now And the hand of God is going to rest upon you And every curse is going to be crushed in the name of Jesus Christ Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus we pray for that man and woman and we pray for everyone hearing us now We destroy the curse in the mighty name of Jesus Every curse of humiliation is destroyed in the name of Jesus Every curse of barrenness is destroyed in the name of Jesus Every curse of mental and physical sickness is destroyed in the name of Jesus Every curse so poverty and oppression is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every case of failure and family breakdown is destroyed in the name of Jesus. All those curses of defeat in the lives of your people is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. We release the blessing of God. We release the blessing of God. 
In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We decree open doors in the name of Jesus. We decree abundance in the name of Jesus. We decree open doors in the name of Jesus. Let there be celebration for everyone under the sound of our voice right now. We decree it is well. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Lord, we give you thanks. Even for the miracles that are taking place in the lives of your people. And this to the glory of your name. In Jesus, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Friends, we want you to believe that God has touched you. The curse that has been molesting you is dismantled in the name of Jesus. And the things that you could not attain or reach for. You are not going to reach for them because the curse and the hindrance is destroyed. And those of you that were sick on the account of curses. Now that the curse is broken, you are now free from that sickness. And that blessings are now manifesting in your life. And so your life will never be the same. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want to pray for those that want to receive Jesus as their Lord and personal Savior. Said these words after us. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I acknowledge that I am a sinner. And I ask you to forgive me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. From this day, you are my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Pastor Esau Banda has just placed in your hands the key to abundant life, hope, and all round enlargement. All your hopelessness and struggles are over in Jesus' mighty name. Please share your testimony with us by writing an email to Pastor Esau Banda at gmail.com or you can call us on 0995 0-999-188-648-398 0-999-188-685 or 0-999-581-503 and best of all come Hear the man of God live as you worship with us at Hayat Complex, opposite Maula Parish, Chirambura Road, Lilongwe. On Thursdays, wait encounter service from 5.30 p.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. On Saturdays, breakthrough service from 5 o'clock a.m. to 7 o'clock a.m. And on Sundays, first service from 7 o'clock a.m. to half past 9 a.m. Second service from 10 o'clock a.m. to half past 12 p.m. Healing and deliverance service from 3 o'clock p.m. to 5 o'clock p.m.